Hello and welcome to UL Postgraduate Programs in Psychology. My name is Jenny Roth and I am the course director of one of our PG programs, which is the MSc in Psychological Science. However, I'll start with a general overview of our department and in general present the courses to you that we that we have for postgraduates and then I will present the MSc in specific to you. So the Department of Psychology at the University of Limerick is a very young and vibrant department. It was funded in 2007. Our research focuses on exploring the key social issues by understanding the workings of the human mind. And we are a department that is growing in staff number. We have a lot of academic staff and several technical support stuff. We have more than 30 PhD students and also administrators that help with the admin work. Since the research explores key social issues by understanding the workings of the human mind, we, we concentrate of th on three core areas, social psychology, clinical and health psychology, and experimental psychology. And we have several centers and labs, for example, the study of anxiety and health lab, the so cool lab, which focuses on social cognition, the migration lab, and the Center for Social Issues Research, which just recently won the President's Award, and several other labs where students are welcome to participate. If you want to learn more about the department, check out our webpage or follow our research updates on Facebook and on Twitter. Even though the department is still pretty young, we have established programs at every level. We have two undergraduate programs and a range of postgraduate programs. The MSc in Psychological Science was established in 2010. I'm the course director of this one and I will explain that program in more detail to you in a minute. The MA in Psychology was established in 2011. It's a conversion course. So if you have studied some psychology in your previous degree, but you want to work as a psychologist, the MA would be the program for you. Anne-Marie Craven is the course director of this one. And you will hear from her after my presentation. The online diploma in psychology is just very recently established. It runs this year for the first time. And the purpose of this program is that people can acquire the credits in psychology that they need in order to enter the MA in psychology. So in order to be eligible for the conversion course, people can acquire the remaining credits in the diploma. The European Master in the Psychology of Global Mobility, Inclusion and Diversity in Society, in short, Global Minds, is a European Master's, it's a two-year program. Students on this program study some time in UL and um, other, other parts of their program they spend in other universities, for example, Warsaw, Oslo, um, and or in Portugal. We also have a PhD in clinical psychology. Uh, this is in collaboration with Galway. So if you're interested in this one, Pat Barry Coglin is the course director. And finally, we have the structured PhD in psychology, which is a faculty based program. And um, students are doing their research PhD um, in this format. So what you have on this side, as you see, we have a breadth of um, areas that we are covering in our PG programs. And you'll find the links to all of the um, home pages where you find more information on each of the programs. And don't hesitate to contact the course directors, because those course directors where you find the email addresses here as well. So let me now turn to the MSc in Psychological Science, where I'm the course director of its uh, master's program that reflects the core orientation of the department. It's our flagship program and the department emphasis 
has an emphasis in research methods, social psychology, clinical psychology, and community and health psychology. And this is reflected in four different streams that applicants and that are accepted to the program can choose from when they enroll in the program. The research method stream, the social psychology stream, the clinical psychology stream, or the recently established community and health psychology stream. They have four core modules and research methods, since this sets the base for all of those kinds of um, specializations. And then depending on the stream of your choice, and of course you will choose your stream based on your interests and your career aspirations, then you have specific core modules. For example, in social psychology stream, you have two specifically social psychology modules. Um, on the clinical psychology stream, you have clinical psychology modules. And then you have a range of electives where you can choose from. The program ends with a major research project. And here you have more information about the course structure and the content. It's a one-year program. It's full-time. It used to be on campus, but since the pandemic and the restrictions, it was delivered in the blended mode. And we may continue delivering it in the blended mode, but I can't say for sure yet. This is still in discussion. It gives you 90 credits overall. That means one ECTS, one credit refers to 25 hours of work. So you see if you if you add all the modules and the ECTS, you see it's a full time program. In autumn semester, um, you uh, get 30 credits by doing five taught modules similar in spring and in summer it ends with a major research project. You see those courses with Nasterix, they're the mandatory ones, the core ones, and then depending on the on your stream of your choice, you have some other core modules from those that you'll see here. And the electives from the other streams are usually so the cores of the other streams are usually electives of all of the other streams. And then you'll also have some electives from um, different disciplines. And by the end of the program, you will be able to undertake a piece of independent advanced research under the supervision of a member of staff. Um, it's recommended that you begin with this major research project early at latest while doing the spring semester and then you finalize this in summer. So for whom is this program? It gives you a general postgraduate degree and it's the ideal program if you have an undergraduate degree or a higher diploma that is accredited already by the Psychological Society of Ireland. So what does accreditation mean? Accreditation is the official recognition of the degree by the professional so psychological body in Ireland, which is the Psychological Society of Ireland. If you have an accredited degree, you that then qualify to pursue a career as a psychologist and become a member of the PSI or an equivalent. If you do not yet have an accredited degree, this program will not give you eligibility to become a psychologist in Ireland or work as a psychologist in Ireland. If this is your goal, you would need to convert your old degree into a psychology one. And then the MA in psychology, the conversion course, would be the right program for you. But if you already have an undergraduate degree in psychology or you don't care about accreditation, then the MSc will add knowledge and expertise and is the right program for you. It's an exit route for those interested in, for example, research careers in the voluntary or in the state sector, and it's an excellent basis for entry to doctoral level degree programs in psychology. So the most career goals of our previous students were those who pick the research stream, they pursue a career in research. Those who pick the clinical stream, they pursue a career as a clinical psychologist. And those who pick a social stream, 
they usually pursue a career with NGOs. Um, our graduates often move to careers such as assistant psychologists with the intention to apply for clinical programs, research assistants in public health or um, non-governmental agencies or PhDs. What are the entry requirements? At least you should have a 2.2 honors degree in psychology. It has become very a pretty competitive program. So the better your degree, the higher your chance to get in. Um, mostly we have um, students that have a 2.1 degree or, or higher. But we also consider relevant work experience and equivalent qualifications in conate fields. What is really essential is the research methods and statistics experience. If you lack that, you need to catch up on it in order to have to enjoy the program. But even without a psychology degree, you may be considered eligible to the program. Why study at UL in general? Of course, we have a very beautiful campus with great facilities. It's one of the most modern libraries in the world that we have. There is lots of outdoors and sports. There's a beautiful concert hall with lots of events. But most of all, particularly in this department of the psychology, we have very supportive staff. We have a learner-centered and research-focused teaching approach, and our staff is internationally recognized, or internationally recognized experts in their fields. Here is a testimony of a previous student on the MSc in Psychological Science. Um, she has continued, or she was successful with a scholarship for a four-year PhD program by the National Institute of Studies in Education, and she really enjoyed the degree. We have more testimonies on the web page, so you can check those out. Concerning the application, I recommend to apply as early as you can. The system usually opens in November each year. You find a link on the web page on the program, this one here, to the application. Decisions are usually made on a rolling base or at least in several rounds. So you should apply as early as you can. And then places in the reserve list of field, the program will be closed for applications. Never hesitate to get in touch. Um, drop me an email or get in touch with our administrator. And I'm looking forward to receiving your applications and hopefully to welcome you on the program. Thank you for your attention. Hi, everyone. My name is Anne-Marie Craven, and I am course director of the MA in Psychology at the University of Limerick. This MA program is a conversion course designed for students who have already completed at least 60 ECTS credits in psychology, but who want to complete an additional 90 credits to be eligible for registration with the Psychological Society of Ireland. Many of our students come from universities where they might have studied psychology alongside history or English. And these students will apply to us to achieve the additional elements of psychology that they didn't complete while they were engaged in those other topics. Sometimes we also have applicants who have a more diverse background in terms of their education. And if you'd like more information on whether you're eligible or not, please feel free to contact me directly. So graduates of this MA programme are eligible for registration with the Psychological Society of Ireland. So that means they're eligible to apply for training courses in clinical and educational psychology, for example, in the same manner uh, somebody with a BSc or an accredited BA in psychology would be. Now this program runs face-to-face -face on campus, although there are some blended elements, for example, there might be a possibility to engage in remote statistics labs, it is intended to be an intensive full-time program on the University of Limerick campus, so please bear that in mind. If you are interested in the MA, it's also good to know that it runs over autumn, spring and summer semesters. Students take a number of modules in autumn and spring semester. They will also choose from a number of elective modules where you can specialise in methods, you can specialise in sports psychology, or you can develop your skills in social and health psychology, which are core area in our department. So those are the modules you might complete in autumn and spring, and in summer you will dedicate your time to the thesis. This is worth a third of your master's degree, 
and although you'll be carrying this workout in autumn and spring as well, the submission time is in summer. So that gives you an overview of the course structure. If you are interested in applying, please do include your transcript and also an academic reference and we have no specific template for that. Simply a statement of how the person knows you and a comment on your abilities to undertake this kind of program. That's what we're looking for. If you are applying and you don't have a very clear background in psychology, please also include um, a personal statement that might explain your prior education and why it should be viewed as equivalent to those 60 ECTS in psychology that we look for. Although first round offers have been made, we are reserving some spots for people who might apply after the postgraduate open day. And again, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me if you have any further queries.